let's take a tour of Joanne Fabrics. When you walk in Joanne's, the crafts are on the left and the fabric is on the right. Take a right to find your favorite fabric for your pants. The seasonal fabrics are usually in the front of the store. Keep walking to the back right wall and you'll find a lot more fabrics for your pants. As you can see, there are a lot of fabrics in different colors and different patterns for your pants. Keep in mind you want cotton or flannel. These first two rows, there's a good amount of cotton and flannel to choose from. Remember the flannel is the fuzzier type of fabric and the cotton is the lighter weight types of fabric. Here we can find some special occasion fabrics. These are no-nos. You want to stay away from that type of fabric. When you're not sure what type of fabric it's made out of, check the bolt. Here's some flannel. That would work. And here's some fuzzier minky type of fabric. That won't work. Keep walking to find even more types of fabric. Here are some fleece. Fleece would be great for your second project. They have a tons of a variety of different fleece at Joann's. Here's some more specialty fabrics. These ones you don't need to, for your second project or for your pants. Here's some more specialty types of fabrics. You don't want these, except if you were going to make the drawstring bag. That is made out of nylon and that might be found in that aisle. Here's some more fleece, some cotton fleece. And then there's other different bolts of different special fabrics. More fleece towards the back. You want to make sure you always find the sales. So take a look at the sales um, at each store and try and save yourself some money. There's even more fleece on the back wall here. Here's that bolt again. It's gonna tell you a lot of different information, including the price per yard, what it's made out of, what the fabric is, and how to care for it. Take a look at that bolt before you bring it to the cutting counter. Here's some more different fabrics including home decor. These types of fabrics you won't need for your pants or your second project. They come on different bigger bolts um, and they're for home items. Here's the pattern section in Joann's in the center of the store. You won't need to buy a pattern but you can take a look at different projects you can make in the future. Now we can take a look at the notions. They're also in the center of the store. These include pins, buttons, fasteners, zippers, anything you need to make your project. The only thing that you'll need to look at for your notions is probably pins and thread. Now the fun begins. We've chosen our fabric. We take a look at the bowl and make sure it says cotton or cotton blends. And now I'm ready to go to the cutting counter. You want to get in line for your fabric by taking a ticket. The TV tells you what number they're on. Once your number is called, they'll ask you how much of your fabric you'll, that you'll want. You want to make sure that it is 45 inches or 60 inches wide. If you're not sure, ask them and they can tell you and then give them the number that you wrote down on your sheet. Once your fabric is cut, they'll give you a ticket. This ticket you'll bring with your fabric to the checkout counter. Now let's get our threads. Threads are in the back behind the cutting counter. There's a lot of different threads for different projects that you're gonna make. We're going to need the purpose thread, which is the dual duty brand. If you're not sure, check and make sure the spool says all purpose. These threads are specialty threads. They look different. We don't want them. They are for embroidery and other types of projects. When choosing in between two different colors, go with a lighter one that usually blends in better. Now let's head to the checkout counter. We're all ready to go. 
that's it. We're all done with our tour. Now let's get sewing.